Wow. So we're making these pancakes. She brought 11 plates. Well, she was excited. They are banana. The recipe shows them as like brown, like they would have Mom. cocoa in them, but they don't. So I wonder maybe they have a totally different buckwheat flour or something. It's what they look like right now. Yeah, they don't look like the recipe photo. Mm -hmm. But they there look you go. good. Mm -hmm. Dinner, well, this wasn't dinner. There were some pie crust cookies. Then we had Swedish meatballs with uh, ground beef and mashed potatoes seasoned with mushroom salt and lots of dairy, of course, and then three different ferments to enjoy. We're heading ice fishing and it's pretty dang cold. Um, it's gonna be about minus 10 plus wind. Could you go put the butter knife away? So I was gonna show you how I'm getting the younger three ready to go. Yeah, so Rowan's already wearing her wool long johns. Freya's, these are her wool long johns. Um, Amos, wool shirt. And then these are pants that one of my sisters made. Hey, Rowan. They all have, um, these are Hot Chili's brand wool socks from Costco for kids. They're a great price. And if you look, they often have 25% off online sales. So that's when I stocked up on them for the kids. So Amos also has a wool sweater. This was a thrift store find. And then he has a wool suit, which is, um, this was bought for baby Hamish when he was one. So this has lasted a long time. Just, you're doing a great Play-Doh. So Rowan has Dasana wool pants, a wool sweater, wool socks, and Freya has the same thing. They will then wear a warm pair of winter boots. Um, snow there's snow clothes, yeah. Rowan and Freya, sorry, Rowan and Amos both have one piece, Mountain Equipment Co-op, which is like REI in the States. They have these vintage, they're called, what are they called, mech puffer suits? No, toaster, toaster suits, I think. Anyhow, they're great, they each have those. And then, because it's gonna be really cold, Rowan's struggling with some Play-Doh right now. Um, I'm gonna do a thin pair of socks. I'm gonna do a thin pair of socks on their hands and then their mitts over top for an extra layer and then we'll bring extra mitts because if anybody's mitts get wet, we need to put new ones on. We're gonna have a fire out there. We bring sheepskins. We bring what's called a calf sled, I'll show you. But we'll bring sheepskins and we bring wool blankets. It's a little colder than we would normally want to go, but we're meeting friends there and we decided we were just gonna try to dress for the weather and if we get too cold, then we go home. Everybody's piles now has their over stuff, their gloves, hats, all the younger three, I have them with these wool fleece lined and I'll tie at their chin. This makes it incredibly warm. These are great hats. I've had this hat since I was about 12 years old. Anyhow. Um, Just like those gloves you had since you were 13. Th then Hamish burnt in the fire, yes. And these are Rowan and Amos's suits here. They're nice, big, cozy suits. No, the cat socks are for lining Amos's for putting on before his gloves. We have what? So we have packed a travel mug for everyone. Amos, I already made him hot chocolate with goat's milk in his. I've got milk and water and hot chocolate mix. This is just cocoa sugar and salt. So heat water, add this, add some milk to make it creamy. We have some marshmallows for fun. And then we have a bunch of hot dogs. Soother for the meltdown on the way home. <laughs> Mustard, ketchup. And then I'm also just packing um, this two quart Yeti with tea as well. It's just bread dough I made this morning. We just do bunless hot dogs because it's easier and everybody's happy with that. So I should probably pack some sort of snacky something, maybe some chips. That'd be fun. I think we have chips in the basement. I think so. And yeah, the vehicle's just getting started now and we're slowly working towards going. And then I have three sheepskins and three wool blankets. And then I have baby carrier, of course. Ooh, it is noisy in this house. And then I've packed the this laundry basket with all of me and the little kids' outer layer of clothes because if we wear that in the vehicle for the 45 minute drive, we're just gonna roast. So we're gonna be dressed warm, but not like ice fishing warm. 
and then um, when we get to where we're going, we'll put it on. We're in. It's about a 45 minute drive, so we're hoping Amos naps on the way because he hasn't had a nap yet. Are you warm enough? Do we have enough layers? Are you fishing? Take it off your stick. No, eat it with your glove on. Can I have one? Okay, it's pretty hot. Does he stir bar? No. The butcher made them. They're bare. They're bare hot dogs. He's actually sleeping now. Rowan, leave him alone. Catch a fish. No one's caught a fish. No, bring. Oh, this is tiny one. Oh. Finally. I knew if I watched it long enough, eventually something would happen. It's amazing when the sun goes down, even though the sun wasn't on us. Once the sun goes down. <laughs> the clouds fly. We've had that so many times. It's cloudy in the day. I know. And then you go in the evening and we just get stormy. <laughs> I'm following you. Let's <laughs> roll in from town. It took a lot longer than normal, than expected. <laughs> Whoa, that was really loud. I should say, it always takes longer than normal. We were looking for a snowmobile part. Hey Rowan, that noise hurts my ears. I did a spark plug boot for the snowmobile. So it's like the rubber part that goes over the, snow, the spark plug. First store didn't have the one we wanted. Second store was the dealership. Because our snowmobile isn't their brand, even though it's a universal part, they wouldn't even give us the time of day. I was like, are you serious? I'm trying to spend money at your store on a universal part and you won't even look for it? And they wouldn't even, so they wouldn't even look for it for me. So... Um, they're lost because I also bought at the store I did go to, uh, the next store, I bought two kids snowmobile helmets, which was like $450. So yes, I was there for a $7 part, but I also needed helmets, which are not cheap. And I would have bought them at their store if they had given me the time of day. So the place where we bought snowmobiles, it's, sorry, the helmets, they didn't have the part we needed, but they told me exactly what to look for at another store. So then I went to Canadian Tire. I still don't know if I bought the right one. I bought two and here's hoping I bought the right one. Our snowmobile's running kind of rough. So I asked our mechanic, ooh, something's gonna fall out of the back. <laughs> Thankfully it was things that could fall out of the back. Um, my mother-in-law and her twin sister, it's their birthday tomorrow and we're having a game party. So I bought two new games. This is like a safe darts and Chinese checkers, a tin one. Okay, so I asked our mechanic where we could, like our vehicle mechanic, where we could bring our snowmobile, and they're like, eh, there's not really much, but also there's not really much to fix. And I'm like, that's cute for someone who knows how to fix everything. I was like, I could make you a wheel of cheese and cure your bacon, but I do not know how to fix something. Marius and I are not there. It's just not our superpower. It's not our lane. Anyhow, mechanic's like, place the spark plug, replace the spark plug boot, and put a half a can of sea foam in the gas tank. So I go to the parts store and I was like, okay, here's this spark plug I need and the spark plug boot, which they didn't have, which sent me on a whole tangent of other stores. Then I was like, and a half a can of sea foam, whatever that is. And so then they got me the sea foam. So I'm going to get Mac to try this stuff and we'll see if it works. Otherwise, I do have the name of someone that we could bring it to, to try and figure out. So it's running kind of rough. So we're using Synergy's woo, careful there, clear cell dry off. Um, instead of using a dry off antibiotic, we're using this organic product. And uh, do you need help there, bud? I'm good. You got it?
So 15 cc's goes up each quarter, and it's a mix. This isn't working. It's not in there properly then. Try again. Ooh, that's far enough. Ah! So we coaxed Mabel in here with a little bit of alfalfa and grain because it's time to AI both of them. Oh. Look at, okay, so she's a full grown Jersey. She's, Jess is three and a half. Don't, Mom, don't. Mabel is 17 months old. She's a Jersey Swiss. And you can see visibly she's already taller than her. Don't they stop growing up their, like, third calf? Yeah, they she's grow till they're... Calves. Yeah, Jessa has had calves spread apart, though, so she's basically full grown. Yeah. Anyhow, I took Clover's collar off of her because once we're no longer milking, we take the collar off. But since I'm going to be handling Mabel a bunch, getting her bread and Craig checked and everything, I threw the collar on her. I am five foot six. Hey girl, do you want to give her a nice pet? Scratch nice. Here we go. Give her, say, give her a nice rub. Hey girl. It's okay. Gave her a little more grain to. Hamish, don't stand between a cow and a wall. Yeah, we'll we'll hold her against the wall or something. Sometimes when I need to feed my sourdough starter, if these two are at loose ends, I'll let them help. And yes, it's messy and it takes way longer, but it's pretty hard to mess up. And you know, they feel they feel like they're contributing and that's really important and they have fun doing it. Another ice fishing day. Mac, could you open Frey's hot chocolate for her? Brought lots of thermoses. I have Amos inside my overalls and my down jacket. So maybe there's something to be said for. Yeah, you can use it, sure. Amos, look over here. <gasps> Hi. Do you have a cookie in there? Are you fishing? No? Daddy, I can eat you. And yeah. I can eat you. See, there's someone ice fishing over there. And there's someone ice fishing over there. And then friends of ours are with us too. Where's your cookie? Hoping he might sleep in here. Maybe the cookie was counterproductive. That's a fat one. Mm -hmm. And a big one. A giant. Oh, he must be cold. That's, That's what's in here. What type of trout is it? Rook. I can never tell them apart. You love eating snow? Mm. Is that pretty funny? Mm. 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 It's in my pocket. <laughs> Problem is my muck boots are not meant for skating on ice, they're meant for grip. Last week when we came here, it was minus 10 Celsius plus wind chill. So equivalent probably to like zero Fahrenheit. It was a little cold to have little kids out here. Today it's just below freezing and so much nicer. Roasting a hot dog for you? Yeah. 
It needs a bit more. Uh, yeah. I had more. Okay, it's gonna be still cold. You guys Oh, and it's still out there. Fuck. Come on up. Go. Ah, <laughs> Seven times before he popped it into his mouth, and I just that's a nice fat one. That's a nice fat one. So, we're staying for another hour. <laughs> no, we gotta go home. Yeah, I know. Sorry, this one. Not by much. Was that Mr. Colex or was that good hook job, too? Good two pounder. Last, time, last year you had three and I had seven. And the year before I had, had um, uh, like 15 and Mac had zero and Dad had five. No, I had like... That's what you see swimming around down there, the white fins and all the camouflage. These dots here are just wild color. Oh, they're pretty too. cool fish. And why is there that line? It's uh, just part of it. Well, what do they call that? It's the pectoral line, the lateral line, something. The part about how they can sense things in the water. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a picture of you holding it. Oh. We got a good distance walk. We gotta walk all the way to the edge of the lake over there, and then we gotta hike up to the house. Not to the house, to the car. So they're still finishing packing up, but they're all much faster than Rowan and me trudging along with Amos. So me and the younger two are headed back. Unfortunately, it's like the sun was just kind of coming out and we got a fish and it always happens right when you're trying to leave fishing, but we got to get home because we got some animal chores to do. And then Marius and the boys are going to turn and burn and head fishing before it gets dark. Yeah. Got a bit of a hike up here. <laughs> Come down here, son, but the way up is it. Not your kids bathroom also known as the solarium because they have so many plants they have quite green thumbs anyhow um this door doesn't get closed very often but i'm wondering how long that's been there for hmm. telling you friends i love this space more and more with everybody and like everything is dry me amos mac hamish freya rowan Marius has a basket upstairs because he mostly comes in and out the upstairs door. And having the space to have all that stuff that's soaking wet hung up and dry stuff there. It just feels so good when we get home from an adventure to just have it all hung up and drying. And knowing that it's not just, you know, hung on the hooks and going to take forever to dry. We were having a screen free break and I needed to keep the girls busy while I was in a quick meeting and, well, my toes paid the price for that one. 
we had been sick friends, like, really sick. <laughs> um, it's gone through all seven of us, and we've had a fever, and nausea, and exhaustion, and friends, I'm so exhausted. One of our virtual assistants asked me, like, when everybody's sick, who takes care of the animals? Who milks the cows? Well, whoever is least sick, that's who does it. So, here's to me being the least sick tonight and going to milk Jessa. Thank you.